Hi, this is Tony Ling. Uh, welcome to my video. I don't know if you watch uh, basketball, but I used to be a, a big fan of uh, basketball and I watch NBA uh, regularly for many years. And uh, M uh, in case you don't know, NBA is a professional basketball league uh, in the United States. And uh, recently, uh, I found that uh, uh, more than 100 uh, players, they caught uh, SARS-CoV-2 uh, in the NBA. And uh, uh, just to uh, give you uh, some data, uh, they are more than 500 uh, players in the NBA. And uh, more than 100 people uh, catch the SARS-CoV-2. And uh, uh, according to the NBA's uh, data a couple months ago, they are 95% uh, uh, of uh, NBA player, uh, they are fully vaccinated. So uh, if the vaccine is uh, so effective, and how come uh, they are more than 100 uh, players, they call the SARS-CoV-2, uh, that's uh, more than 20%, right? And with the 90, more than 95% of people fully vaccinated, then how come uh, we see this uh, situation in NBA? And uh, uh, fortunately, uh, I found uh, uh, the latest uh, study uh, in the United Kingdom that could probably explain uh, why such uh, uh, so many people, they are fully vaccinated and uh, Still, uh, they got SARS-CoV-2. And uh, this study is from the United Kingdom, uh, from a famous school called Imperial College London. And uh, this college focuses uh, exclusively on science, technology, medicine, and business. So according to this uh, study, Pfizer vaccine efficacy against the Omicron is 18%. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I, I forgot to tell you, <laughs> it's minus 18%. It's not 18%, it's minus 18%. Uh, uh, I'm laughing, but uh, I'm not kidding. Uh, uh, later, I'm going to show you that uh, from this uh, uh, United Kingdom study from this uh, famous school, Imperial College London. The Pfizer vaccine efficacy is indeed a minus 18%. Although this is a United Kingdom study, uh, however, the result is consistent, uh, consistent with the uh, situation, COVID situation in the MBA. And uh, Without further ado, uh, let us uh, dive into this uh, uh, United Kingdom study and share the detailed numbers with you. So uh, again, I'll include the link uh, for this uh, study so that uh, if you are interested, you can uh, read this uh, entire study yourself. So first, uh, we have to check, verify the, the study source. Uh, you can see the web address is imperial.ac.uk so this is indeed from the uh, Imperial College in London and uh, uh, this study uh, this study was uh, released on December 16 uh, 2021 and uh, here uh, let me read the uh, title for you Gross so report 49, growth, population distribution, and immune escape of uh, Omicron in England. So uh, this study has uh, 10 pages. Uh, so I'll just uh, uh, take you to the results so you can uh, see the efficacy of the uh, Pfizer vaccines uh, against the Omicron. So uh, if you're interested, uh, again, you can uh, read the study uh, from my link. So uh, uh, here is the table, they show you the vaccine efficacy. 
and uh, they did uh, the an analysis for the uh, two vaccines here uh, because this is the England study mainly they use uh, AstraZeneca and Pfizer so as you can see uh, the the left column on the in this table is uh, uh you can see the uh, pf represent the pfizer so az uh, represent the uh, astrazeneca and the d1 means uh, those one uh, d2 means uh, those two etc etc and the less than 14 means uh within the 14 days and uh, 14 plus means uh, after 14 days so here I'm just going to show you the Pfizer vaccine against the Omicron. And here you can see the Pfizer vaccine uh, D2 after those two more than 14 days. Uh, what's the percentage of uh, efficacy? Uh, minus 18. And uh, to do the comparison, I'll show you the uh, AZ, those two after 14 days. Uh, the efficacy is minor, it's even worse, minus uh, 39. So, also, uh, you might have a question what does it mean the efficacy is minus? So, minus means uh, that uh, the, the efficacy, if, if, if the vaccine efficacy is minus, that means that uh, these people could uh, get COVID 19 uh, easier. Uh, than the unvaccinated people. So that's why the efficacy is minus. So, <laughs> so you saw it. Uh, the result from this study is actually consistent uh, with the uh, data from MBA and also uh, this, uh, uh, also this result is consistent with the uh, CDC in the United States because uh, I made a video uh, couple days ago and in that video the CDC in the United States uh, they mentioned 80% uh, of the people who caught uh, Omicron COVID uh, they are fully vaccinated people and also uh, these uh, studies uh, result is also consistent with Israel data uh, because uh, in the Israel data uh, more than 69% um, of people who call the uh, Omicron the COVID, uh, they are uh, fully vaccinated, or uh, they are they took the booster, or uh, they have natural immune. So there you have it. Uh, so if you still uh, have a friend or family, think about to uh, make a decision, decision whether to take this uh, uh, vaccine against the Omicron. Uh, please. Uh, uh, share this uh, video with them and uh, share this data with them and uh, also uh, remember to hit the like button so more people can be informed uh, before they make this decision uh, subscribe to my channel so you can always get the latest uh, update on COVID-19 and the vaccine have an amazing day and uh, remember uh, keep your uh, uh, efficacy against the Omicron uh, positive, uh, not negative. Thank you for watching. Uh, have an amazing day. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.